Thank you. Life is good. And when I'm real rested and focused, then from time to time I get thoughts as in insights that feel like this is going to be the next step for me to to steer my focus on or to focus on to get ahead in life. So when such a thought comes to me, it feels like, like, like a knowing. Yes, it is. It is exactly that. And sometimes there are thoughts that I've heard from you in the, in the past, but when it comes to me, then it feels like, okay, now it's, now it's mine, or now, it's, now, I re now I really know it, instead of hearing it. It's a thought that you are receiving. When you're hearing it, sometimes it's Esther's receiving it, and her voice recording it, and your ear hearing it. But what you're describing is you receiving it. Esther's not in the process. Yes. It's just you. Yes. Yeah. But when they, the cruise uh, was getting nearer, this yes. cruise, all of a sudden, a couple of months ago, it hit me like, okay, you've had this insight for a couple of years now, from time to time, and every time you're saying to yourself, okay, this is the next step, and you're getting nearer, and you're getting nearer to the manifestations that you want in life and to the life that you want to. But what if I'm all making this up? And what if I'm like 90 and still saying, yep, yep, I'm getting closer now and I have to, to transition to enjoy well, all the things I had for... We'll see. <laughs> yeah. That thought will slow it right down right there. Okay. What you are talking about is... We liked your beginning words. I'm rested. In other words, I've given myself the advantage of the best opportunity to be in the receiving mode. And in the receiving mode, I receive from time to time. And then we heard you say, you use different words, but this is what we heard you say. From time to time, I'm not so much in the receiving mode, I'm in the taking score mode. And in the taking score mode, I feel doubt. And doubt is also an indicator that I'm not in the receiving mode. So can I trust what I'm receiving when I'm not in the receiving mode, Abraham? No, not really, you cannot. Really the key to this deliberate creation stuff is to know the difference between being in the receiving mode of this source energy and not. And then don't take anything too serious that is coming to you or occurring to you when you are not in the receiving mode. In other words, when someone is criticizing you and it hurts your feelings, don't pay any attention to it because it's not coming from a reliable source. When you're hearing it on television and it is upsetting to you, don't take it seriously because it is not information that is coming to you from your broader perspective about things that are important and that have to do with you. And so now you are at the place where you are knowing what it feels like to be in the receiving mode and you are knowing what it feels like not to be in the receiving mode. And now your intentions most likely are to be in the receiving mode as much as possible. Really, when you know the difference, that's our favorite state of being because you're not always going to be in the receiving mode. But here's a good way of differentiating the difference between whether you're in step one or step three. Step one is asking and contrast is usually present, which is causing you to ask. So, for example, when you observe a problem of some kind or you have a strong pressing question that you don't know the answer to you know what you want but you don't know where or when or how or who you have a lot of missing pieces to it and so when you're in that sort of asking mode you're not in a position as long as you're asking the question to really hear you've got to put some distance between the vibration of your asking and the vibration of your receiving so if you can just make a decision now at this stage of your evolution into this understanding to spend less time in the step one mode less time in the asking mode and more time in the receiving mode which means be more rested be nicer to yourself take good care of yourself keep yourself feeling good and acknowledge that you are in the receiving mode so now what i find it difficult for me to sometimes 
um, know if I'm in the receiving mode or in another mode because I'm always, and that's part of it, th I think, is I'm always, in my mind, I'm making it happen. Okay. Like just now uh, be being picked as I feel like I made that happen, like I'm working for it. How did you make it happen? By focus, by focus. going sort of neutral in my mind, where whether I connect real good with the solar plexus and I can make that feeling grow. And I think that's heightening my energy. And then if you're calling that making it happen, then go for it, because that's what we call focusing yourself into the receiving mode. It is all about focus. Usually when people are making it happen and you touched on this just a little, we want to discuss this with you. So you said that you can feel at times for sure that you're in the receiving mode. And then you don't quite maintain that because you question, is this really the receiving mode or am I making it up? Now you did that just now again felt like the receiving mode really felt like the receiving mode I was focusing I felt good I felt interested I felt even invigorated I felt a sort of invincibility I felt a sort of certainty in me and so I know I was in the receiving mode but then well in the then moments you're slipping from it a little bit but you can relax back into it and so there is just a little bit maybe of trying too hard but we wouldn't worry about it if we were standing in your physical shoes because what really slipping out of it feels like is knowing that you're there and receiving as you said thoughts about the unfolding of your magnificent life Ooh, you're in the receiving mode but then sometimes as human doers because you are sort of action oriented more than is good for you and by that we only mean you act sometimes not from that pure alignment all the action in the world is perfectly wonderful and in alignment with what we're teaching here as long as you are moving into that action from the receiving mode in other words those impulses that are not only supported by but encouraged by your non-physical connection those are allowing actions those are received actions Let's take this thought further than we've ever taken it before because we've been talking about getting into that receptive mode so that you can receive thoughts. But when you're really there, when you have that vibrational alignment, then those receptive thoughts turn to receptive impulses and receptive actions, you see. So don't worry if you find yourself acting as long as it feels good. If it feels of interest to you, if it feels exciting to you, if it feels like something that you really want to do, then go with it because those are receptive mode thoughts. Those are receptive mode impulses to act. And that's all really, really good. And the more you do it, we don't want you to take score too soon, but it is all right. If you are aware that you're in the receptive mode and you receive an impulse, it's a really wonderful thing. In fact, it's a necessary thing to receive an impulse and to consciously acknowledge that you've received this from your alignment place. And then to feel an impulse and to acknowledge that that impulse is also coming from that alignment place. And then to take the impulse into the action that you feel like taking it to and then to acknowledge the satisfying result of that action. Because when you are able to consciously make the correlation between being in the receptive mode, knowing you were, being in the receptive mode and knowing that you received a thought and an impulse to act and knowing that you acted and then awareness of what the action is, now you've got it all. And so do not assume that because you feel like acting that you're trying too hard or that you're making it happen. That's the whole point of the receptive mode is to get in sync with this non-physical awareness and to move. Athletes do it all the time. They look so physical as they bat that ball or as they pitch that ball or as they throw that ball into the basket or as they run the length of that football field. In other words, they look as if they are in the action mode, but they are often acting out of inspiration that's why they zig and zag that's why their hand-eye coordination is so perfect that's why they can do things that almost seem undoable is because they are tuned in tapped in turned on and they are operating out of impulse from that broader perspective because sometimes people misunderstand they think the receptive mode is just sitting around oh, oh. <laughs> really not too much point in that I'm really aware of the thoughts that I'm thinking constantly and the emotions that go with that 
thought process. I, I think they're not, there's not going by five minutes a day that I'm not consciously aware of. That's all right because of the, where I'm going. You've trained your thinking mechanism to think, and it would be unusual for it not to. Also, there are vibrations everywhere, and vibrations are thoughts, or at least preliminary thoughts. There are thought streams everywhere. So, if you are awake, you are always in the receptive mode. But here's what you want to prepave or accomplish in advance of that, and that is as much as you can through meditation, through basking, through appreciating, keep yourself as close to alignment as you can so that when you are in the vicinity of thoughts, which is always, you are picking up on the ones that are beneficial to you. So if a stream of thought comes about things you don't like or things you feel critical of or things that need to be changed or things that are really bothering you, it's a good time to take a nap or to at least change whatever you're focused upon because that means for whatever reason you've got focused into a different vibrational frequency and now what you're receiving is that sort of static thought that is not beneficial to you. And don't work too hard at this. In other words, we like your awareness of your thought and we really like your awareness of how the thoughts feel but we don't want you to work too hard at it because there's nothing urgent happening there's nothing serious going on you're just gradually tuning yourself more and more to the frequency of your source who will always guide you it is possible to live all day every day feeling perfectly wonderful with an occasional experience that makes you identify with more clarity how it could be a little better but there's not anything wrong with thinking the thoughts that you are thinking. I got the feeling that if I don't uh, work for it to be aware of what I'm thinking and to give it a direction, if I, if I let it go and be a little bit more loose, well, then I'm just focusing on what is today and whatever. Well, that's is. sort of kind of accurate, except that if you're not focused, then let's say that you enter a room, let's say it's a party or a gathering and you have not deliberately focused yourself into alignment, but you've done that enough that that's sort of your set point. It's usually where you are. People who know you know you as uplifting and as high-minded and as good feeling mostly. And so it's logical that when you walk into any environment, you're gonna find the best that that environment has to offer. So you don't have to work hard at this. So what's the fine line between Abraham, I'm wanting to be aware as you are encouraging me, but I don't want to get carried away with it by monitoring every thought. And we say, so if you don't worry about your thoughts and instead you're aware of your emotions or your feelings, you've got it covered. Esther would say, and sometimes will say to a friend, she said it sometimes to Jerry while they were driving in the bus around, she'd say, oh, Oh, I've got that feeling and I don't know what thought I was thinking that gave me that feeling. And so she tried to think back a little bit about what was going through her mind as she was driving that put that sort of odd feeling in her stomach. And so you can get sensitive enough that you can know, but really it doesn't matter too much that you trace back to what thought caused the odd feeling. Just reach for a thought that feels good to you. And in your awareness, you won't get so far. This is the most specific answer that we want to give you in response to what you just ask of us. You are not going to go too far. It will not carry you away. You know too much. Your alignment is sufficient enough that that is now the way you lean. Some people have such negative thought and such negative emotion, and they don't even know they're having it because they don't have anything to relate it to. They don't have anything to play it against. And sometimes a still mind or a happy moment, sometimes in dancing or sometimes with music or sometimes in interacting with an animal or they will have a moment, a sort of flash of alignment, but they don't hold it and they don't even know how to hold it. They think that's the freak that is normal to just live life and be aware of it and life's hard and then you die. And occasionally in some fleeting moment, something floats through, but it's not lasting and it's not real. Well, it is real and it is lasting. That's the eternal you. But sometimes you have pinched yourself off from it and that certainly is not the case with you.